Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, February 13th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. And uh, yeah, we're going out because it's just starting to snow again. This is the brunt of this little storm that we were issued a winter weather advisory. It said one to three inches of snow. I'm looking at it now. It doesn't look like that's gonna happen, but it could change. So check it out. This is what we are looking at right now. It's 34 degrees. Literally just started snowing again. This is, as I said, the part of the storm that's gonna be the biggest part of the storm. So let's check this out. Let's zoom in and then fast forward or hit the play button. So look, that's all the snow we're gonna get, apparently. Wow, it's showing, wow. That's interesting, you guys. You guys see that? It shows it ends at 1.45 a.m., but check this out. It looks like, just keep on watching it past 1.45, that blue arrow where we are. Wow, guys. That's good. I'm liking seeing that. So anyway, let's go do this. We're gonna go th to Upper Moon Ridge right now, catch some of that snow, and then just go for a regular drive, and see what we got going on in this town. All right, guys. Peace in the Middle East, right? Oh. And obviously, I'm still getting used to saying this. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it, guys. Uh, just dink and dink, and even hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I make new videos. I know they get pretty redundant, but you know what? This is what I do and the support would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys very much. All right, you guys. So literally, this just started happening. Just started happening right now. Look what the temperature says outside. I know that's wrong, it's gonna drop, but it's still above freezing and we're getting these big fat snowflakes. These big fatty, fatty flakes. So right now, as I said, we're gonna head into Upper Moon Ridge to catch some of the heavier snow. And then we're gonna exit Upper Moon Ridge and head into Big Bear City and maybe even finish the tour off with a drive around the lake. Oh, it's so beautiful through here. These lights really accentuate the snowfall. I like it. It's the only, only way that I like these really bright lights <laughs> at nighttime here in Moon Ridge. So how is everyone doing today? I know it's just the beginning of the day. It's 12.22 in the a.m. on Monday, February 13th, 2023. Yeah, this is, this is great. This is great. As a matter of fact, to get to Upper Moon Ridge, what I think we are going to do, uh, we'll just go the regular route and then swing, swing by Bear afterwards because hopefully by that time it'll really be coming down. I'm definitely gonna get a video soon, you guys, of the zoo. We're, we're gonna do a whole zoo tour. I think that'll be awesome sauce. Hope you guys enjoy it. So let's see here, I'm gonna dim this quite a bit. See if you guys can still see that okay. Let me brighten it up a little bit. There we go. So I'm looking through the camera, so hopefully you guys can see it okay. This is where we are. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna zoom in on that right now. A little bit more and a little bit more. Look at the streets already getting white up here. Let's do one more zoom. Okay, so this is where we are at. Oh, there we go. Turning on to silver tip. wiper there's something stuck on there I need to get it off so we're on silver tip as I said we are heading into upper moon ridge we are entering middle moon ridge now in terms of elevation Now we're gonna turn right immediately on Butte. We're on Villa Grove right now, and then you make your first right on Butte. And look, the street's already white, turning white. So even with this little tiny bit of snow, guys, it gets slick. It gets quite quite slick up here. Give you guys another view of 
that. The temperature came falling down to 35 at 12.25. Yeah, once again, how are you guys? Feel free to leave me comments, you guys. I love responding to you all. It's the, my favorite part of my day when I get to do these videos to respond to you guys. I love trying to have an impact on you all, especially when you're coming up here to visit. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> let's go, let's show the wiper. Okay, now we're on Villa Grove again. We just turned left on a street called Mira, that little tiny 30 yard street, Mira. M-I-R-A. I sound like I'm from the East Coast saying mirror. Mira. Mira, Mira on the wall. Who's the funniest looking one of them all? That would be me. That would be me. Oh, I love the snow. It's so pretty. You guys, I have a feeling when we get to Big Bear Boulevard, we're going to be the only ones. Driving here with me. So we are going to go all the way around Upper Moon Ridge. We are in Upper Moon Ridge, guys. Believe it or not, it doesn't it seem like that much of a elevation change in, in terms of that climb, right? From down at the bottom when we passed the zoo. It may be like 300 feet, something like that. I could be wrong, but I think it's it's about 300 feet. And funny enough, they get a lot more snow up here, typically. Typically, typically. Oh, beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Our windshield wipers are behaving as well. They're not sounding like fools. And uh, congratulations to all of you who whose team won today, the Super Bowl. And I'm super sorry for those of you who got disappointed today. And I know how vested I used to be in my sports all the time. I'm still very, very deep into the, the MMA culture. And, you know, that was something I was interested in actually doing for a while. But getting hit just stopped appealing to me after a little bit. Did not feel good, did not like it. Um, some people get super pumped up after they get clocked. And so just sticking to the jujitsu thing. Haven't been in the gym in a long time. I, I used to, the last time was a couple years ago and I was going regularly to Bear City Jiu Jitsu. My good friend, Coach Jovan Godinez owns it. And uh, as a matter of fact, I just ran into him at the grocery store a couple days ago. That was super cool to see him. But yeah, that's MMA is the only sport that I'm uh, that I I follow extensively, extensively. And last night, we're not last night technically now, but two nights ago. Amazing, amazing fight. Some people think Volkanovski actually won, but. Makachev got the uh, got the nod by the judges at the end. I think Islam won, but hey, it is what it is. That guy's amazing. I know I spoke about that earlier in one of the videos. That guy's, uh, I think now he he's considered the pound for pound greatest active fighter. Islam Makachev, Makachev, Makachev. Khabib Nurmagomedov's dad used to uh, be his coach and, and and trainer since he and Khabib were little kids. And uh, <clears throat> the dude's a monster, just like Khabib. That Dagestani strength, you guys, like, my goodness. He, grows, he grew up in crazy mountains. 
in Crazy Mountain in Dagestan. I'm telling you, there's no no better way. But like MMA is the best sport out there, no question to me. Even though I I grew up playing all sports and even into my high school and um, I was looking at a scholarship to play baseball at a couple different schools and cannabis ruined it all for me and now everything's okay with cannabis but I don't partake but yeah cannabis ruined it all for me my whole life was dedicated to baseball even though every season I played a different sport every season of the year but MMA was something I, I fell in love with I, I might not be a big guy but uh, that was one thing that martial arts and especially Brazilian Jiu Jitsu really why it was so appealing to me was that uh, you can level the playing field against a, a, you know a lot larger people and single leg and double leg takedowns I was super super good at super quick didn't matter how big you were actually then once you get someone on the ground then that's where you're BJJ comes into play and my goodness like it, it it really does level the playing field that's why in in the first couple or first three UFC's Hoist was just dominating and he, he's you know six foot 185 pounds and whooping guys like Kimo and Ken Shamrock and just it just it, it was just incredible for me to watch that at age 13 14 and 15 at first, it scared the living crap out of me because I was like, oh my gosh, this is real. But as I got older, I started getting involved in it. And a lot of my friends are professional fighters and trainers and people who own gyms. Um, like with big time, big time fighters as their uh, clientele. They train these fighters. Yeah, it's super crazy. Like, uh, I'm good friends with a guy named Jeremy Fields. He owns 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu in Riverside and then owns a gym out in Amsterdam. And that guy, not a big dude, but my, my goodness, the guy's a monster. Just an absolute monster. Just a word of advice for a lot of people out there who like to like, you know, who, who have a runny mouth sometimes. Watch out for the dudes with cauliflower ear. That's all I'm gonna say. Just, just, uh, just try not to try not to talk too much smack to them. And look at this, guys. The snow is starting to come down pretty good here. Let's zoom in and see if it'll help us out to get a better picture. Oh yeah. So we're gonna turn left here and go down the opposite way. This is great, folks. Let's zoom back out. So the street we just took right now is called Luna. L U N A. It kind of is a kind of a shortcut to get to this side of Upper Moon Ridge to head down. So now we're making a left on Sheephorn, and we're gonna take Sheephorn all the way down to Moon Ridge Road, hang a left on Moon Ridge, and then uh, follow Moon Ridge to Gold Mine. And Moon Ridge turns into Gold Mine for a moment, and that's when we will be at Bear Mountain. Yeah, this is great. This is beautiful. We're coming up to uh, my personal experience. This is the scariest part of sheep horn when it comes to the weather. We're coming up to it pretty soon. It's like a really sharp downhill and to the right turn. Um, it doesn't take much for you to lose it here. Here we go. It's coming up right here. All right. I can't tell you. I've seen countless cars stuck right here and then people in blind panics because they're sliding kind of down. It's, what a scary feeling, you all. You don't know that feeling until you're actually doing it, tripping out. And it's a lot steeper right here than it looks. It's really, really, really steep. And we gotta be super careful because now there's a, a thin little layer of snow and ice. Temperature has fallen to 31 but we're at a higher elevation it'll probably be about 31 or 32 at bear mountain i don't know if we can see where bear mountain is from here yep there it is to the far left so that's where we're going i like 
this close up perspective so you guys can really see. So the left is some of the free sledding areas that I showed you guys, but it's really difficult to see at nighttime. Hey, I had a question for, for a lot of you out there. How many of you have motorcycles? If you're still watching, who has motorcycles out there? Because I wanted to get something set up like a motorcycle ride for the people on the channel. That would be a lot of fun. Um, maybe just come up here and then we could meet up here and, and just go for a short ride down to Cafe 247, which is on uh, in Lucerne Valley on Highway 8 or right off of Highway 18 and 247. If anyone's interested, please let me know and then we can try to set something up for, for this summer. Pardon me. Excuse me. Try and set something up for this summer. I think that'd be tremendous. Okay, anyway, we're coming up to Lone Ridge. Just trying to plug in my other phone here. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go left here to get to Bear Mountain. Left on Moon Ridge Road. Oh, it is a little bit slick out here. I can just feel it. I'm not sliding around, but I can feel it. A little more slick than usual. Okay, we're coming up to gold mine, folks. As I said, Moonridge turns into gold mine when you make this right turn right here. And then to the left is Bear Mountain. I was watching the Christopher Dorner stuff yesterday and right here at Bear Mountain and the golf course that's where a, a helicopter landed right there you can't see and there was just so much going on here this is where they towed Christopher Dorner's truck that burned up and then the people who were tied up and their car was stolen were in these condos right there with all the lights on just crazy that the most wanted person in America was up here. That was two years before I moved here. Alright. Wow, it's coming down good. It is snowing nice and steady now. Unfortunately, this is just not much of a storm. Very, very tiny. You know what I think we'll do? I think going to the village from Moonridge Road Instead of going all the way to Big Bear Boulevard, we are, I'm gonna show you guys the back route. So when you're dealing with a lot of traffic, you can avoid literally all the traffic. You'll be so shocked. It'll save you so much time sometimes, and I promise you, I'll be your best friend. You guys will consider me your best friend after that. I try to show you guys as often as I can our shortcuts through town. I, and I always explain to you how, unfortunately, some, some locals get really frustrated with me for showing you guys these things and I feel bad because I don't want them to be mad at me but at the same time like I want you guys to have the best time of your life I want you guys to have the most incredible time that you can and waiting in traffic just kind of adds to some of the issues that a lot of people do complain about about this area about the super high prices for everything and just it's just such a uh, such a skirmish for everything up here so I'm gonna show you guys once again so remind me please remind me once we get up here um, as a matter of fact let me show you where we're at on the map here we're going around the 
first roundabout. so great here. Look at this. Look at all the snow. I know I was going to take Big Bear Boulevard because I wanted you guys to see the boulevard without any snow, but you know what? We'll, we'll take it on the way back. We're just going to do, once again, a, a, a fairly quick drive. I know none of my drives are quick, but I love showing you guys a lot of the town, not just a little bit, just so you can kind of see what's what's going on in most of the areas where you all travel look at moon ridge it's all white we were just on we were just here and it's turning all white already okay so this part of moon ridge you guys this is the beginning of the shortcut explanation to y'all. Once you pass the Best Western Hotel, which is right up here on the right hand side. So here's Gold Mine. We're gonna stay there sometime. I wanna stay at all these places for you guys. Do a recording for you all. Here's the Best Western. I've done two videos there. I have a playlist of all the lodging that I've done in Big Bear. And when we get a chance to go outside of Big Bear, I will start adding more in the San Bernardino National Forest, not just Big Bear. All right, so this is Brownie Lane. Just before you get to Moon Ridge Road, this is Brownie Lane. We're gonna turn left on Brownie Lane and we're gonna stay on this until it dead ends into a street called Wren, W-R-E-N. So just stay on Brownie until you get to Wren. And then you'll turn left on Wren. Oh, it's so pretty out here, you guys. I wish you all were here. And once again, I feel horrible because this snowstorm started late Sunday night and most of you go home when you're up here visiting on Sunday. Check out of your hotel and if you're not skiing or snowboarding, then there's not really much else to, to really do. And I'm sure you, you're, you're just anxious to get back down safe and sound. So unfortunately, a lot of you end up leaving like before these last few storms okay here's 7-eleven on the right hand side and moon ridge road so we're running parallel to moon ridge road this is summit boulevard if we made a left here we would hit snow summit and they're not making any snow right now so you know what i'm gonna do and I'm sure you guys can imagine what Big Bear Boulevard looks like without any cars. What we're going to do is we're going to take Big Bear Boulevard back from the village a little bit, and then we're going to go on the other side of Big Bear Boulevard to show you the shortcut coming back to Moon Ridge if you don't want to, or to Moon Ridge or to, you know, over by the grocery stores if you don't want to take this route again. I want to give you guys multiple options. And once again, for some of the locals that get really upset with me about this, please forgive me. I wouldn't tell these people these shortcuts if I didn't think that they would be respectful and not speed through the neighborhoods and, you know, just, I, I wouldn't do that. And with all the comments, the beautiful comments I've received over many, many years from so many people, you guys are pretty spectacular people. And anything I can do to help you guys, because you guys coming up here spending money helps me to be able to live here. You create the jobs for us. You. And I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you so much for allowing us to live here. I don't take it for granted at all. Not at all. I am extremely grateful for you all. Okay, so we're coming up to Wren. This last little part is very steep. A lot of cars end up sliding into this intersection. And where this car is parked, not a good idea. Not a good idea, my friend. Not a good idea. Okay, now we're coming up to a street called McWinnie. It's the first right once you turn left on Wren from Brownie. McWinnie. And then you'll follow this around and it turns into a street called Eureka. But you don't have to worry about turning left or, or, or anything. Just follow this road. When it turns left, it changes its name to Eureka. 
and Eureka is the same street that McDonald's is on, but you can't get through to McDonald's here. If you make it right here, you're gonna hit a fence. So you can't turn right there, it's, it's, it's not a through street. So now we are on Eureka. Okay, now we're coming up to the stop sign. Right where this dead ends, where there's no more road going straight, this is Oak Street. You wanna turn right on Oak Street. My good friend who's a, a pro boxer lives right here on the corner. Out of respect, I'm, I'm not gonna show his house, but um, his name's Greg Holland. The dude is just, dude, just, just not such a nice guy, but would not ever wanna cross him. As I said, these are the people I associate with. Um, they're, they're all, for the most part, fighters. And maybe because that's that's what I wish I was, but I've never had that extraordinary courage to, uh, you know, to jump into the cage. Okay, we are on Jeffries. We just turned left from Oak Street onto Jeffries, and then we're gonna turn right on Pennsylvania. And just think of this as the last road you need to turn on to go into the village. Pennsylvania turns into Village Drive. So just follow this around and you're good. You will enter the village. But we're going to take a street called Knickerbocker down to Big Red Boulevard and then come back around. Or we're gonna take Knickerbocker to Big Red Boulevard just so we can drive through the whole village like we like to do. Because when it's snowing like this, all those lights on all the trees are just so beautiful. Look at this, guys. Look at this garbage. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. In the middle of the road, a huge trash bag. When you're leaving town, lots of times too, like once you're outside of Big Bear, you'll notice on, on the side of the road, a lot of people dump their trash bags. I know it's it's not you guys. Do you guys ever see, see someone do that? I mean, I'm not a narc or anything like that, but you know, call them on it. I'm not trying to have you guys get hurt, but call them on it. And then just open the trash bag and dump it back into their car. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't go that far. Don't go that far. But it's just so disrespectful. This is all of our playground, you guys. This is, this is all of your vacation spot. And as I said, let me reiterate, I know you guys aren't doing that. Okay, straight ahead. We are, so once we cross this stop sign, it, it goes from Pennsylvania to uh, Village Drive, but we're gonna actually go down Knickerbocker, turn left on Big Bear, and then make our first left on Pine Knot, which is part of the strip, the Village Strip. But yeah, guys, just, uh, my goodness, it's just so sad seeing some people really just disrespect this town and completely trash it. And I'm no like crazy environmentalist or anything like that, not by any means, but, I don't litter and I, it, it just breaks my heart because Southern California doesn't really have much left that's nice. You know, there's tents and encampments everywhere and garbage everywhere and it smells like a public restroom in a lot of places these days. And I mean, this is a nice place for you guys to come up and just get away. And we'd, we'd like to, to try and keep it, you know, very different than how it is at the bottom of the mountain. I know you guys want that too. Once again, you guys on this channel are so respectful. All right, so this is Pine Knot. I hope you guys enjoyed that that shortcut. That's one of the shortcuts on Big Bear Boulevard in this, this part of town. And we're gonna show you the other side on how to get past everything. Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody out there? Just not if you can hear me. Is there anyone at home? Relax, relax. I need some information for 
Okay, now we're on Village Drive. We just drove half of the village, <laughs> and this is Village Drive. Well, that's a beautiful sight. Look at this, this is great too. We have a few of these little bonfire areas and a, a lot of a lot of people will stop and just sit there and chat and enjoy being warmed up by the nice fire and it's it's just it's just super super peaceful and i, I would I, I would hate seeing tents lined up all along here and a, a couple years back when i went down to venice oh my gosh i couldn't believe it i could not believe it But that's uh, California politics for you. And that's as much as I'll say on the politics side because uh, I love everyone on this channel and I don't ever want anyone to not like me because of, you know, my, my belief system. It's so polarizing these days. It's just really, really, really sad that you can't disagree with someone without like a fight being started or, or being called a name like a hater or racist or just just something ridiculous like that just because you disagree with someone you're you're considered a racist it's just crazy but uh i really want to bring all of us together on this channel especially i i love you guys so unbelievably deep in my heart like you you guys are very important to me i've told you guys many times but those of you who haven't seen this channel much at all you guys have saved my life and I know that sounds ridiculous it's, it sounds like pure hyperbole it's absolutely as real as it gets you guys have saved my life you know I, I, I used to have thoughts about like I just pray I all go to sleep and not wake up or or when I'm on my Harley I used to, to once in a while just uh, wish that on one of the sharp turns I take I, t I take it way too fast and and lose control and then I hope it happens instantaneously type thing and you guys have, have given me hope and purpose and made me want to try and thrive I owe you guys my life I, I owe you guys everything you guys have been my my true saviors I don't know what I would do without you guys you guys are incredible people I love you so deeply thank you Thank you, each and every single one of you, for saving my life, for giving me a chance. When my own family has chewed me up and spit me out, you know? Not my mom and dad, but all my six older siblings, and and they don't really have much that they can speak of that they've done good in their lives except put other people down and complain. So anyway, we're coming up to a street called Knight Avenue. This is going to be the other shortcut. Look, guys, there's no one on Big Bear Boulevard. And Knight Avenue is the street right where Taco Bell is. This is the this is the soonest you can turn down here to hit these neighborhood streets back here. So that's why we didn't just go straight across from the village into these neighborhoods back here because you can't. This is the first street that allows you to do that. And uh, I take this back road often when there's bumper to bumper traffic on Big Bear Boulevard. So we're gonna take this past La Hontan and um, we're gonna come up to the street called Park. I think, it's, I think it's Park Avenue. Then we're gonna hang a right on Park Avenue. And keep in mind, we're basically gonna go as far as Moon Ridge Road, but we might take it a little further to go over by the grocery stores and then come out by the grocery stores. I think we might do that instead. You can you kind of see a little clearing up here because we're a little bit further away from the mountain, but not far. All it takes, guys, is just a few hundred yards. A few hundred yards difference, and uh, you're in a much drier part. It's just those those tall mountains, they, man, they really hog the damn clouds, and, and they tend to squeeze everything out moisture-wise that these storms have, and then whatever they have left, they just mingle over here but the climate up here is incredible um, it really is as I've told you guys I coined something called the Big Bear snow rule which essentially means um, and it's every time there's not one time I've ever recorded in eight years where it's any different where one side of town at the same elevation gets a lot more snow 
the Big Bear Dam area gets the most snow out of anywhere in the valley, that part of town, and, and the, uh, the Boulder Bay area, which is right near there. The further you go the opposite direction on Highway 18 or Highway 38 towards Baldwin Lake, significantly less snow. But interestingly enough, I've found it to be colder in Baldwin. Okay, so we are, this street is called Fern, I believe. I believe we're turning left, no. Uh, no, this is actually, no way. That's actually Wren for a second. And then I can't, wow, that's that's strange that that's Wren, but right here on, on, on this street sign, I wanna see what it says. It's still Wren. So once it turns right here, wow, I never realized that. What does it say here? Is it still Wren? Yep, it's still Wren. W-R-E-N. So we were on Park Avenue and then we turned left on Wren. But now it changes, I think, once we straighten out here. So interesting. I really just noticed that after eight years of being here and taking these same roads over and over and over and over again. It's like Groundhog Day for me, you guys. All right, let's see what this street name is. This street is called Tanager. I always remember it because I, I drive by and, and, and say to myself, gosh, I wish I was a Tanager again. So this still this says Ren again. But I know it was something else. That was interesting, let's see here. I'm sorry guys, I know I'm being annoying right now, but I've gotta figure this out, what is that? Okay, it did change right there, so what is it? Why am I spacing the name? Swan. Maybe it was saying Swan the whole time. Maybe, maybe it was. I'm so confused right now. But yeah, we're on Swan Drive, and then once we cross this stop sign, I believe it turns into Fox Farm. So turning right here, this is Garston Street, and that turns into Moon Ridge Road if you cross Big Bear Boulevard on Garston Street. But we're going to be coming up near the grocery stores. This is actually going to drop us off on the corner of CVS and Fox Farm auto wash like a car spa type of a place but we're not going to go all the way to Big Red Boulevard we're going to turn left at the next street or actually yeah we are going to go to, to Big Red Boulevard usually we turn left here and it'll drop you off right behind Vaughn's and you can turn into Vaughn's back there uh, taking the back way into Vaughn's but yeah, this is a great way to bypass a lot of the traffic because there will be a ton of traffic on Big Bear Boulevard to get to Moon Ridge. And then you'll see a ton of the traffic divert from Big Bear Boulevard onto Moon Ridge. And then it'll leave still a bunch of traffic where we're turning left onto right now onto Big Bear Boulevard. Still gets really packed through here, but a lot of the traffic turns right on Moon Ridge Road. And now we're gonna have this open for a couple minutes here. We're gonna head to Division Road in Big Bear City. There's a Stater Brothers truck straight ahead, I believe. Yes, it is. There's the Vons. So Vons was having a special deal tonight and it was buy two 12 packs of soda and get two free. And so I, 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 I wanted to get eight total 12 packs and they wouldn't let me. They said, oh, only one, one per household, one per household. And trust me, I don't feel like I'm entitled, you guys, but it was so frustrating because, you know, like it's just, just whatever, whatever people can do up here to, to achieve that power over you, they just do. So long story short, I went home, I picked up my wife and I had her go in and get the other two, buy two, get two free. But it was almost $10 a 12 pack. <laughs> like it's is it the same price down in your guys area those of you who st who are not annoyed quite yet with me who are still listening on this video is it ten dollars a 12 pack down there because i'm a sprite drinker and my wife likes vanilla coke or vanilla dr pepper any regular soda with vanilla and uh it, it's just it's it, it, it's astonishing to me the crazy inflation and how much everything 
has been costing these past couple years. It's crazy. Just just the past two years. Gee, anything in common with the past two years? I don't know. But it's been horrible. And the people up here, we don't make a lot of money up here. Most of the jobs up here are are like minimum wage or just above minimum wage. There's, you know, people live up here because they want to get away from the hustle and bustle down the mountain and enjoy just a peaceful environment, quiet about seven or eight months out of the year. And it's unfortunate because housing has gone up like crazy the past two years up here, as well as the price for everything else. I mean, everything else. And I feel bad for a lot of people because a lot of people are, are having to move off the mountain and even move out of the state because of what's going on. It's horrible. All right, so this is Division Road. We're gonna hang a right here on Division and take this into Moon Ridge. As you can see, as we enter Big Bear City here, not really snowing at all. But you'll see, the closer we get to Moon Ridge, it'll probably be snowing again. I love it. I really love it. I mean, you just drive a, a little tiny, a little tiny distance, and it's completely different what's going on. So yeah, this is Division Road. Looks like somebody's jogging or something right here. Yep, he's walking his dogs at 1 in the morning at 34 degrees and by the way this is where we are at but yeah I encourage all of you when when you get a chance please come up here and take a vacation our town could really use the money it really really could and there's a lot of really good good people up here struggling just like there are everywhere in the country but there's a lot of really good people up here struggling and when you guys come up here and visit and create beautiful memories with your loved ones it it helps everybody out people like me especially love you guys to death and I'm so grateful. I'll never stop thanking you guys for what you guys contribute to this town. You guys are this town. You guys make this town what it is. You guys make it a town, period. So once again, thank you guys. Literally from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Because I think I would be in a mental hospital if I had to live down the mountain again. Because I've gotten so used to this slower pace up here. And it's, as I said, it's a slower pace for maybe seven or eight months out. For about seven months out of the year. Of course, I love having a ton of people up here because it makes me feel like I'm back down the mountain again. But with the snowy conditions, it, it gets quite awkward up here. Because you guys know California drivers can't even drive when it's raining. So imagine what you know, with all the snow. You see fender benders left and right, and I hate seeing that. I don't want people coming up here to vacation and then get hurt or crash their car and have a huge car bill that they have to pay. Like, it's just, it's not my idea of fun. That's why I always suggest, for those of you who come up here fairly regularly, do me a huge favor. Do me a huge favor. Buy yourself, I know they're not cheap, but buy yourself some good tire chains. Spend like 150 bucks or something, whatever a decent set cost, and just keep them in your trunk always. Because even when the roads look great like this, you never know if some for some reason you're gonna have to go onto one of the side streets, and it's snowing again now, we're getting a couple snow floors. You never know when you're gonna need to go on one of the side streets. And a lot of times the side streets are not quite as good and maintained as the main roads. And once again, it comes down to direct sunlight also. A lot of these side streets are just layered with trees and the sun doesn't get a chance to really peep through much. So just always have them with you, you guys. As I said, if, if, if you're not gonna do it for any other reason, then please consider doing it for me. 
because I want you guys to be safe. If you guys get in a tough situation, I want you guys to be able to slap on those, those tire chains and freaking start charging. Just go out and just have a great time. I don't want you to get stuck in, especially in cold, cold, cold conditions. It's, it's not fun. And I am gonna have a video done for you guys. I'm gonna record my friend eventually here. I don't know why I keep on forgetting to do it, but I'm gonna have him apply tire chains onto one of his, his vehicles and explain to you guys exactly what he's doing and how to do it. And when you guys drive up here, I have a couple rules that are really important to follow. Make sure that you have plenty of Obviously, you're going to have spare clothes if you're staying up here, but bring some blankets for the car also. Um, bring enough food and water to last you three or four days, just in case, just in case. Um, a huge, really important part too is to please make sure that you guys, we're on Moon Ridge Road now, we're turning right on Moon Ridge Road. Make sure that you guys fill up your gas tank at the very bottom of the mountain, even if it's more more expensive at that gas station please fill up your gas tank at the very bottom just so if you do get stuck you have plenty of heat um, and then let a couple people know where you're going and when to expect to hear from you don't forget your, your, your guys's lives are so valuable and you're coming up here because of your hard work your hard work paid off for you to come enjoy yourselves and vacation and and celebrate your hard work reap the rewards of your labor so just please like try to follow those simple rules once again have the tire chains with you and you guys will be golden you guys will be golden anyway we're going to cut this video off in just a moment here we're going to go through the best western parking lot just so you guys can see what it's like to pull into the best western on the videos i've made of the best western we've we've done that before but i want you guys to uh just to see how awesome it is. This place reminds me of the Overlook Hotel um, from, from The Shining. Just, just a weird way for some reason, it just does. So you would pull in here and then when I would come stay here or treat my mom to this place, I would pull her as close as I can here because she can't walk too well and get her bags out and walk her in there. And yeah, they've got... Uh, uh, it, a breakfast included. It used to be better before the pandemic hit. It used to be a lot better because you could get like eggs Benedict and all that good stuff. But now it's just your standard con continental breakfast with some some eggs and stuff like that. I think they had bacon, and I always go for the bagel. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, I know I talk a lot, but I love you guys and I love sharing things with you. I know it gets annoying sometimes and. Please, for, please forgive me about that. I'm just trying just to share with you guys some of the things that I like to do here, some of my knowledge about the shortcuts, some some safety tips, and just some stuff about me too. Because you guys are my family. You're my only real family. You know, my mom and dad, and then you guys. Um, you guys, you guys are my life. You guys are everything to me. So thank you guys again for everything. Thank you for enjoying this snow drive. Please, if you enjoyed what, this video and didn't think I was talking too much, even though I didn't shut up at all, please hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be, to be reminded when I make another video. I would really appreciate that. Once again, it helps me an awful lot. And I try to do as, as much as I, I can for you guys. Just because I make these videos doesn't obligate anyone to hit like or subscribe, okay? So never feel like I'm like obligating anyone to. I just want to be able to try and grow this channel as much as I can and take this channel to other states. Get out of Big Bear, go to Tahoe, go to Mammoth and do, do things elsewhere. The same thing, but in other cities. So thank you guys again. I love you guys so very much. And thank you. I'm looking forward to all the comments coming. Peace out, you guys. January or February 13th, 2023. And we will end on this picture.